characters. So, but uh, for us, an abelian variety will be something like a C polarian divided by a lattice plus a polarization. And uh, a Shimura variety, so I will give more detail later, but it will be given uh, as a quotient of x of by uh, gamma plus a complex structure. And uh, x will be a uh, emission uh, symmetric space. So it will be given uh, somehow like G of R divided by the center times a maximal compact for uh, GQ, a Q reductive group. And uh, gamma uh, is a, a congruence lattice. Okay, so I will give more uh, detail later. And uh, in both situations, you, you have some special points. So here, uh, you have the torsion points. And here, you have the complex multiplication points. Uh, <coughs> so, if, for example, your moduli variety is uh, the moduli space of principally polarized abelian varieties, uh, CM points just uh, uh, are moduli points representing CM abelian varieties. Okay, so you also have some uh, special subvarieties. Uh, so I call them torsion subvarieties here. And uh, there are subvarieties of the form X equals B plus P, where P is a torsion point and B an abelian subvariety. And uh, here, so uh, I will write that it's a component of a translate by a Hecke operator of uh, a sub Shimura variety. So so sub Shimura variety will be uh, of the same form. Uh, say, uh, for example, uh, I will call it SH. And uh, it will be of the form XH divided by the intersection of gamma with uh, the group of real points of H. Uh, and uh, uh, H, Q will be a reductive group. So uh, say of the form, uh, almost direct product of a torus by the deri derived group of HQ. So uh, there is something which I think very misleading is. What does almost direct product mean? So in, it means that the intersection of T with HQDR is finite. Okay. So, uh, so a misleading point, I think, is you could think that this translation 
correspond to this translation. And I, I fought this for a long time. <laughs> and uh, I think it's false. I mean, the I tried to explain that uh, you should more think of this P should be related uh, to this T. And this is the right way of thinking the analogy between the two situations. OK, so I, I try to explain this more in detail later. H? SH is XH divided by gamma intersected with H of R. It's OK? OK, so uh, okay, I should say that here you have a natural operation, which is multiplication by N. Uh, and uh, uh, the associated operation is just Hecke operators. And uh, it's one of the main difficulties that uh, they are not uh, endomorphism, but more correspondences. And uh, OK, in, in both situations, there, there are some conjectures by man in Mumford and by André Hort. And uh, it's useful for me to state it in a unified way. So I, I give two forms for the conjecture, and the, the statement will be uh, equivalent. So you say that a component of the Zariski closure of a set of special points <coughs> is a special <coughs> subvariety. So in the sense described before. And an equivalent <coughs> way of saying this is the following. Uh, let why inside a, a Shimura variety or an Abelian variety be any sub-variety uh, then there exist only finitely many uh, special sub-varieties uh, inside a Y uh, with the property that uh, they are maximal amongst the special sub-variety uh, of Y. So that means that for all uh, Z inside Y with Z special. Uh, Z is it in fact contained in uh, uh, this union from 1 to R of the I. So it's an exercise to prove that uh, the, the two statements are equivalent. And uh, OK, you, you should try this exercise. <laughs> OK, and uh, uh, so you can draw a picture of this situation. So you have an ambient variety, which is an Abelian variety or a Shimura variety. Inside, you have a, a sub-variety, Y. And uh, the assertion is that you have only finitely uh, many 
maximal special sub-varieties of y. And some of them are maybe of dimension zero, so corresponding to special points, and some of them are of, of positive dimension. Okay, so, uh, so uh, the, the manin mumford conjecture is a theorem by Renault. And uh, for uh, the André Hort conjecture, uh, what is known now is the following. It's the Riemann hypothesis, uh, essentially for CM fields, uh, implies uh, uh, the André Hort conjectures. And <coughs> so this is a combination of uh, a work by Klingler and Yafaev, and a work by uh, Yafaev and myself. And uh, it used some results Clausel and myself, and a strategy uh, beginning of an uh, incomplete strategy by uh, Eddie Sovin and Yafa. So, uh, so I would like to uh, explain uh, some of the main new uh, things in. Uh, uh, this uh, strategy, and uh, so the idea of the proof is the equation equidistribution plus Galois equals uh, the André Hort or the manin mumford conjecture, and uh, so I, I would like to explain uh, this equation in more detail. <coughs> okay, so uh, so I, I would like to, to add some more uh, notation. There will be a notion of strongly special subvarieties. So here, in the size of abelian varieties, it's just x equals b, uh, with, which is a sub-abelian variety. And uh, here, uh, it's a special Subvariety associated with, so I would say a Mumford Ted group with a semi simple uh, Mumford Ted group. So, and I mean, by this, that in the description here of a special subvariety, I can take H semi simple. Uh, but I will explain why I speak about Mumford Ted group later. And uh, uh, I will discuss more uh, two statements. Uh, the first is. Uh, Equidistribution of strongly special subvarieties. So, uh, for Abelian varieties, you use, in fact, just 
Fourier series. And uh, for uh, Shimura varieties, you, you, you use the theory of Hatner and some result of Margulis, maybe and Danny. And <coughs> the second result I'll discuss in the strategy will be uh, uh, the classification. Uh, maybe uh, an equidistribution of uh, special varieties <coughs> so I will uh, consider uh, at this point, uh, okay, such that the, the cardinality of the set of Galois conjugate of uh, my special subvariety uh, is bounded and uh, so k is a field of definition okay is a number field over which s is defined so this is this part is due to your five and myself So uh, you'll see that uh, in the case of abelian variety, uh, the result is just z equals p plus p with order of p bounded. And <coughs> so uh, here, the answer will be uh, <coughs> T special varieties So, with finitely many T's. Uh, and the T is just, uh, as before, the center of the Mumford group. So what I would like to explain today is uh, uh, how you can combine uh, equidistribution techniques and Galois techniques in the simpler case of abelian varieties uh, and maybe uh, it will help understanding the more advanced case of Shimura varieties. So, so I should say that the, the, Mumford, the Manin Mumford conjecture is one of the most proof conjecture I know. Uh, so the, the first proof was given by Renault, as I told. And uh, after this, they were approved by, many, by uh, Andri. And then uh, maybe a proof using Arakelov theory uh, by Zhang and myself. And a proof in model in logic uh, by Ruchowski, who was rewritten in the language of arithmetic geometry by Pink and Grossler. So I'm not go going to give an, a new proof. <laughs> uh, it will be somehow uh, 
in this proof revisited. And I mean by this that somehow I translated the proof from the world of Shimura varieties and you find uh, some proof and this proof is very, it's a complicated way somehow of making Indris proof but uh, somehow it makes some simplification in other direction. Okay, so, so I start to explain uh, equidistribution in this case. And uh, so, so A will be uh, an abelian variety given in this form. And uh, I have mu A uh, the associated normalized Haar measure. So it's the Lebesgue measure with measure one. And uh, uh, if I have any uh, special subvariety, uh, <coughs> I have an associated, I will call uh, mu z, uh, the associated uh, probability measure. Uh, so, uh, so uh, coming from the fact that on an abelian variety I have uh, a natural uh, Haar measure and I just make a translation. Okay, so in this case the equidistribution statement is quite simple. <laughs> So I will state it in this form for some reason, but so let Zn equals Bn plus Pn be a sequence of special subvarieties of A with order of Pn bounded. So essentially, you can forget the PN part, but I will use it later. Then, uh, there exists a special subvariety so uh, Z equals P plus B, such that and a subsequent Z and K uh, such that you have two uh, the following two properties. Uh, the first one is that the the sequence of probability measure supported on Z and K uh, converge weakly to uh, uh, the canonical measure on uh, Z. And uh, the second thing is that Z and K is inside Z, say for K big enough if you want for all k, as I took a subsequence. Okay. So, okay, the, the proof is very simple and we'll use only uh, uh, Fourier series somehow, but uh, maybe it can give uh, an intuition of what is going on uh, in more serious uh, ergodic questions. <coughs> so I try to explain it. So here is a sketch. So 
think that I start with a group of a Q which, just, which is just Q power N and uh, a lattice which is just the standard lattice Z power N. And uh, uh, I look at the variety X equals R power N divided by Z power N. And uh, I will use a, n a name for the map from Rn to X. And uh, okay, this situation very, I forgot all the complex structures here. And, uh, but I still define uh, okay, a weekly special subvariety in this definition, in this setting, is, okay, by definition, uh, of the form uh, z equals pi of h extended to r for a q vector subspace hq inside GQ. And uh, such a Z is therefore endowed with a canonical uh, probability measure. How measure? And uh, then in, in this situation, uh, it's not difficult to uh, prove the following lemma. So let uh, Zn be a sequence of Weekly special subvarieties of X, then uh, the statement before is still correct. There exists a weekly special subvariety uh, Z inside the X, uh, such that uh, mu Z and K converge weakly to mu Z, and uh, Z and K is inside Z for K big enough. Uh, there is no, in, everything is compact here, so there is no bond. It's okay in this way. Uh, but I'm quite short on show, but okay. Okay, so uh, <coughs> this is a very uh, simple statement and uh, somehow uh, it's an exercise and uh, so here is uh, some hints for the, this exercise. So, proof. <coughs> so you, uh, you have Vide's criterion. Says that uh, you just need to check
that for all complex character chi of x, uh, then uh, the integral over x of chi time uh, the probability the canonical probability measure on SNK uh, tends to uh, the integral over X of chi time uh, oh, okay m m maybe it's ZNK mm -hmm. okay and this is just an exercise in Fourier series and it's an interesting exercise but not very difficult Okay, so now, if you want to prove uh, the proposition, <coughs> you do the following. So, now, uh, say you have your abelian variety, maybe Tm, and this is equivalent to uh, uh, R2m divided by Z2m. And uh, the, the, the main new, new difficulty here is that you have uh, uh, the set of abelian subvarieties. So s somehow uh, an abelian subvariety is, is given by a real subtorus, but you have much more. Somehow the abelian variety could be simple and you wouldn't have any abelian varieties. But, so this is inside the set of weakly special subvarieties. And uh, the idea is that here you have a lot of such subvarieties and here you have few of them. Okay. But what you have to check is the following. So let Bn be a sequence of uh, abelian varieties. <coughs> then uh, what you know, you know that uh, mu Bnk uh, converts to some mu z, and uh, you have a property that uh, bnk uh, is, is inside uh, z, but uh, you need to check that z is in fact so I know it at the, at the level of real torus. This is, in fact, an abelian variety. OK. And this is another easy exercise. Because if you want the, the tangent space of Z is generated by the tangent spaces of the BNK. And you have a complex structure on the the tangent spaces of the VNK, and so the tangent space of Z is a complex space, and so uh, it will give you an Z will be an abelian variety. Okay. <coughs> okay. So, so this and the uh, equidistribution part in uh, this situation, and uh, I try to explain the Galois part and how you can combine them. Uh, in the case of a variety. Uh, can I interrupt you for one minute? Yeah. I want a simple understanding of convergence. So yeah. So it means that for any continuous function on x, the integral of this function f against your measure tends to the integral over uh, against 
the limit measure of f. So it doesn't, it's harder in, uh, for Shimura variety because you, it's not compact, but in this case it's just, uh, okay. So <coughs> Galois orbits, Okay, so from now, uh, K will be a number field. And uh, I suppose that uh, A is defined over K. And uh, uh, the uh, remark is that uh, there exists a finite extension K prime over K, uh, such that uh, uh, any abelian so variety uh, B of A is defined over K prime. And uh, it's easier for me to suppose that from now, I suppose k equals k prime. <coughs> uh, it, it won't harm uh, anything. Okay, so uh, the first proposition due to, in fact, to Serre, and is uh, the following. For all epsilon strictly positive, there exists a constant. So I write the dependence, but it's not uh, important. Such that uh, for all x, a torsion point with odd of x equals n. The cardinality of the set of Galois conjugate of my uh, torsion point is bigger than this constant times n power one minus minus epsilon. Okay. <coughs> so, uh, I like to, to I miss the, <laughs> no, it's okay, it's here. Uh, I like to add some remark to, uh, in order to simplify the exposition. <coughs> it's, <coughs> it's the following issue. Uh, <coughs> So, if B is an abelian variety of A, then uh, there exists a B prime of A such that Uh, okay, A equals B plus B prime. And uh, in fact, you have a lot of choice for this. And uh, it's a theorem of Daniel Bertrand that you, in fact you can choose such a B prime such that the intersection is uniformly bounded independently of B if you want. Okay, so this is a result of Bertrand. And so why uh, uh, why I, I speak about this? I will say that the description of Z in the form B plus P 
is normalized if uh, P is in B, B prime uh, given by Bertrand. So somehow, if you have such a description, you can always add a torsion point from B. And uh, so it's, <laughs> there is no meaning of saying that uh, the order of P is bounded, for example. Because so, but if you take this normalized way, uh, uh, it's dependent only on A, yes. Not on sub varieties, not on B. So the remark in this case is that uh, if you have uh, Zn equals Bn plus Pn uh, in normalized form, Uh, then uh, uh, saying that the, the set of Galois conjugate tends to plus infinity is equivalent to the fact that uh, and uh, this this has a meaning because uh, the ambiguity in uh, the choice of Pn is uniformly bounded. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so now we know that uh, uh, if the Galois orbit of uh, this special sub varieties uh, is bounded, that this means that the order is bounded. Okay. So. Okay, so, uh, so here it's a sketch of uh, the man in Mumford using uh, uh, the alternative uh, using Galois plus equidistribution. So, so let, uh, okay, let Y inside A be a sub variety. And Zn equals Bn. Uh, plus Pn inside X be a Zariski dense uh, sequence of special sub varieties. So uh, Zariski dance uh, in Z. So uh, here's the situation. Up uh, in Y. Okay, sorry. I, I was not uh, clear on the choice of my the name of the sub variety. So. Uh, up to passing to a subsequence, at least one of the following occurs. So in fact, in this case, uh, it's exclusive, but it's not important. Out of Pn, so 
I, I always suppose now that I write things in a normalized way. So out of Pn is bounded. And uh, in this case, I can say that mu Zn, or maybe a subsequence, uh, is equidistributed to uh, some mu z, but uh, zn is inside z and uh, inside y. <coughs> and uh, as zn is i key dense, this implies, in fact, that uh, uh, z equals y. So y is special and is what you wanted to prove. Huh? So okay. And if uh, the R of Pn is not bounded, then the situation is that the cardinality of the set of Galois conjugate tends to plus infinity. And uh, now I will say using Galois, uh, so may maybe I will be more precise, plus a characterization of special subvarieties, you prove that for all n big enough, uh, there exists a special subvariety. Uh, with the property that so z, z, pre, z, z prime n which is strictly containing the n and uh, contained uh, in y and then uh, somehow you're done because you produced a new uh, sequence of uh, special subvarieties and uh, uh, the dimension is increasing. So at some point, uh, you have to stop. And you have to stop means that at some point, uh, the order of the torsion part is bounded. And you can use uh, the, the equidistribution case. OK. So, uh, so maybe I, I try to explain a little bit uh, what I mean by Galois and what I mean by uh, the characterization. Okay, so you have a very easy uh, characterization of special subvarieties in this case. And uh, this characterization is the following. Uh, let uh, y inside a be a subvariety <coughs> and d uh, be an integer an integer if 
d times x is inside x. Uh, this implies that uh, x is a torsion variety, is a special subvariety. So I would say that uh, this part, which is completely transparent and trivial here, is certainly uh, the main uh, technical uh, interval tool in uh, Klingler F. And uh, the, the second thing uh, which is used So this is a theorem once more by, uh, by Serre, which say that there exists a constant, maybe uh, depending on A and K, such that for all X, which is a torsion point uh, of order n. And uh, <coughs> if p is prime to n, is a prime number, uh, then uh, Uh, there exists some element sigma in the Galois group such that uh, if I take the multiplication of my point by uh, P power C, then uh, this is inside the set of Galois conjugate okay. and <coughs> okay the, in the Shimura case there is such a statement yes uh, so it means that the GCD of P and N is one. It's, it's okay. Uh, okay, so in the case of Shimura varieties, there will be a, a statement of this sort, uh, but not using uh, multiplication, but using Hecker operators. And uh, uh, here, this statement is quite deep, but you don't use any uh, GRH. And uh, here it's really, uh, in the case of Shimura variety, uh, it's here that you have the main use of the Riemann hypothesis uh, in the Shimura case. Uh, okay, uh, oh, okay, okay. So, yeah, yeah, okay. V equals, okay, yeah, sorry, it's, it's badly written. Okay. So I, I should say, yeah. It's better like this, okay. Okay, thanks. Okay, so. So how you, you, you try to prove uh,
So what remains somehow is uh, you have to, if you have a, a Zn with a big Galois orbit, you have to produce a, a, a subvariety uh, of, uh, I don't remember the name, it was Y, uh, which is uh, uh, contained, still contained in Y. So here is the situation. Y you have Zn inside Y. So Zn special and uh, the set of uh, Galois conjugate uh, big, tending to plus infinity. So you can assume that it's big enough. Okay. So uh, uh, and uh, so you are going to. Uh, choose uh, okay choose uh, okay choose p prime to uh, the order of uh, okay right Zn equals uh, uh, Pn plus uh, uh, Bn. Choose P prime to uh, the order of Pn. So, and you can choose such a prime maybe with P, uh, say, less than uh, uh, some log or maybe some power of log. Um, I'm not sure, so I, I put uh, uh, A. And then uh, uh, what you do is you take the intersection Y intersected with uh, P power N, uh, P power C uh, times Y. And uh, <coughs> using the fact that uh, uh, x sigma uh, uh, p power c times the torsion part can be uh, written in this form. You, you deduce from this that uh, Zn is inside uh, uh, this set. And uh, uh, another point is that uh, uh, the degree uh, of, uh, I, I should give a name, uh, y prime is bounded by a power, maybe another, uh, a power of log, because uh, the degree of p is bounded by a power log, and c is, uni is a uniform constant. And so, <coughs> uh, so you have two possibilities. Uh, uh, if y, y prime, uh, if this intersection is proper, the, the dimension of, of y prime is strictly lesser than y. And if this intersection is non, okay, so if y intersected with p power c times y uh, is not proper, then uh, 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 y prime <coughs> is uh, special. And uh, you have Zn inside y prime inside uh, y. So, uh, <coughs> Okay, even, okay, at the first step, y prime equals y, so you're done. And uh, uh, so you have y, y prime equals y, and y is special. If not, <coughs> uh, 
if uh, uh, y intersected with p power c, y is proper, uh, you do the same. with y prime, so you, you consider y second equals y prime intersected with p power c times y prime, and you always have zn inside uh, this set, and uh, so you produce a sequence, a decreasing sequence, and uh, you have to stop at some point, and there are two ways of stopping. One way uh, is that this intersection becomes non-proper, and so you produce a new subvariety. And another way is at the end that uh, Zn equals uh, some y with uh, some index intersected to Pc y with some index. Uh, but this will be not possible because uh, The degree of Zn is bigger than the power of n. And uh, the degree of this intersection, okay, the degree of this intersection is at most the power of log of, log of, log of n. log p to some uniform uh, power, which is uh, given by, uh, I mean, it's somehow the dimension uh, time uh, the constant I had previously. And so uh, for n big enough, it's not possible to have these two uh, uh, equalities for the degree. So this means that in fact, uh, the intersection, the intersection was not proper at some point, and I really produced a new uh, subvariety with a, a bigger dimension. And then I can redo my process. Okay. So next time I try to explain this in the Shimura case a little bit more, but uh, uh, there will be more definitions. Yes. Uh, 